The Hindu story of Priya Pisnokar, the architect of Angkor Wat, is one of the most interesting ascension or abduction stories from the ancient world. In the myth of a non-human female, Soda Chan, came from Indra's heaven and married a human being and gave birth to this child. As a young child, Priya Pisnokar would play by drawing complex designs in the sand. His mother left and flew back to heaven when he was at the age of five, but she returned after some time, and wrapping her shawl about his shoulders, she carried him off back to the heaven of Indra. He was brought into the royal palace of the god, and Indra asked him about the state of the suffering of humanity. Moved by the wisdom of the boy's answer, Indra asked the child to begin training in celestial crafts, learning to construct divine chariots and palaces. And then he sent him on a mission to return to Earth and teach these skills to humankind. Priya Prishnakar is the name that is given to this divine architect. He has designed and constructed the great palace of the Pandavas in the Mahabharata within one night. He was also credited to have designed, to have supervised all these great buildings of Southeast Asia. Angkor Wat was built in order to worship the gods. So one has to wonder why such a magnificent layout was chosen and what does it mean? And some have suggested that Angkor Wat may be a representation of Indra's heaven itself. The whole story of Priya Prisnakar building the amazing Angkor Wat complex seems like a story of someone who is taken by extraterrestrials, given a special education, and then returned to Earth to help mankind advance in the way the extraterrestrials would want us to advance.